What is good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler. Today I'm going to be going over how to install Kudo Miner and how to mine Ethereum Classic. The process is going to be very similar to the regular Kudo Miner setup. There's just going to be one additional step. However, I am going to go through the entire process from the beginning to the end. Um, so whether you're beginner or advanced, um, you'll be able to get it done here. And this is going to be for anyone who wants to mine Ethereum Classic ETC on their desktop or their mining rig if they have one. All right, let's get started, guys. So the first thing we want to do is use the link I'm going to provide for you in the description. You will get a um, 5,000 Satoshi, that's 0 .0005 BTC worth um, anywhere from 25 cents to a dollar depending on what the price of Bitcoin is at the time you're watching this. Um, and I'll go ahead and put that on the screen for you as well. So here it is. Um, this will bring you to Kudo Miner and get you set up. You now need to click sign up and download. I'm already um, signed up, so it's just going to log me in. Um, but it's just a usual down. Um, it's just a usual sign up process. You're going to give them your email, a username, uh, password, and then you'll have to confirm your email um, address by clicking a link. And other than that, you'll be right in. Um, this is your home screen. You can see all the revenue you've mined, all of your mining rigs and devices on one side. And so if you don't have any devices set up, this is your first time, this is all going to be blank, but you will see um, your bonus here of Satoshi currently um, worth about 33 cents. So um, you're going to see devices on the side here. You're just going to click connect to device and this will start the download for you. If you're on Windows, it's going to be Windows or Ubuntu Mac. Um, if you're an ASIC miner, you would click ASIC and Kudo OS is going to be a uh, Linux um, it's a version of Linux that just runs Kudo. So if you're doing a minor rig, you might want to try that. Um, for most of you guys, it's going to be Windows. So just go ahead, click the Windows, and continue. Next, download Kudo Miner. Downloads the EXE. Just takes a second. Click it and open it. Allow it through your uh, firewall. We want the desktop app and I'm going to recommend the stable channel but if you want to try experimental that's on you it's going to just download all the core components and install the package And so today I'm going to be mining on my gaming PC. It is a GeForce GTX 1070 in an AMD uh, Ryzen 7. You can, um, you know, as long as you have a graphics card, you can do this. The better, obviously, the better your hash rate will be and the more money you'll make mining. So just give it a second there to load up. And it looked like I'd opened it twice there, so I was just closing that other one. Um, you'll install a desktop icon for you by default. You can click that and open up Kudo Miner. So this is going to have my settings that I've already had set up. Um, but it will automatically find your CPU, which I have set to my Monero, and um, my graphics card here, my GeForce GTX 1070. And at this point, you're, you're set up and ready to go. If you just want to mine, go ahead and click Enable. However, the additional step we need to take to mine Ethereum Classic is just go into Advanced Settings. And... Um, under here you can see all the different coins and so um, 
Ethereum Classic by default is disabled. There's three different miners if you want to mine. I recommend um, enabling all three and Kudo Miner will automatically figure out which one is the best one at each time. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Back. Turn on the second one. And turn on the third. And just to show you guys how this works, I'm going to disable my uh, Z coin and my regular Ethereum. You wouldn't need to do this. So what Kudo Miner does is it runs an algorithm and it automatically figure out, figures out what the best um, coin at that time to mine is and what the best miner getting the best return on investment. And so the more you have it enabled, the more chances you have of uh, making more profit. Um, for right now, I'm only going to enable Ethereum Classic because that's what this video is about. Uh, once you have those settings enabled, just click Save. You'll see your settings have been saved successfully. You now navigate back to the dashboard and click Enable. It's going to prep it up and install the new settings, which will change it to Ethereum Classic. I'm also mining um, Monero on my CPU. Um, if you have a gaming, you know, processor that can handle it at the same time, you know, why not make a little bit extra money? Um, if your processor, you know, isn't the greatest, I don't recommend it because it will slow down and halt the rest of the processes on your computer. Um, make it, you know, basically unusable. So that's it, guys. Um, we're now mining Ethereum Classic. It's optimizing, and you can see I have a hash rate here of 19.51 mega hash per second. Um, come into my stats, and this is going to be from the past, but I can just go here. For, uh, so it looks like the Monero is already um, popping up. We'll start to see the Ethereum Classic here in just a second as soon as it finishes the preparing and optimization. Um, while that's waiting, I'm going to bring you back through to the console. So you can go back to your web console. And um, the one last step I forgot to actually tell you um, is you're going to have to know your uh, username and paste it in. I'm sure if you guys are following along, you've already got to that point. But if not, you will need this um, on the initial load up. And then you can go back to manage your device, um, which also can be found on the side panel here under devices. I like this little square view. It shows me my two devices. I have my miner running here, um, my mining rig, and it's, you know, hashing away here, 167 mega hash. And then I have the PC that I just did this demo on here for you guys. And we are mining um, Ethereum Classic at 2.2 kilo hash. I'm going to click through into this um, rig and you can now see that the revenue is starting to show up if I go into hash rate I can see my ETH hash just for my Ethereum Classic and if you did want to see Monero as well it's the random X and then um, your total revenue generated by minute go to hardware if you want and monitor your hardware you can see the temperature um, the wattage and your percent use so right now I'm only actually using one percent still optimizing it so that will crank up here in a little bit and that's basically it um, you can see benchmarks if you want for the different coins what you've gotten um, you can come into configurations there's a bunch of advanced configurations um, come to your wallet to check the amount of money you've earned so far And you can see here that I'm converting my money to Ethereum. I have a little bit of free Bitcoin that they gave me when I signed up that hopefully you guys got to for using my link. And I also was mining, um, having my mining coins converted into Bitcoin BTC for a little while and also the XMR. So I'm just going to go over the options for you. Um, you do have two options. You have the option to convert your mining um, tokens into any coin of your choice there's not any coin there's a few that you have to choose from Bitcoin Ethereum there's a couple other ones or your second option is to keep the coins that you've mined and so when I first started I was keeping the coins I mined which is why I have a little bit of an arrow I've since changed my mind and decided just to convert it all into one um, coin so I get less transaction fees and that's why it's Ethereum um, Bitcoin you're gonna see a little bit higher transaction fees on the transfer 
So um, Ethereum was the choice for me, but if you wanted to mine the Ethereum Classic, um, you can certainly just keep your Ethereum Classic and um, mine that as well. And to get your money, you're going to need to go to transfers, and there is a minimum amount um, for each one of the coins to transfer, and you just transfer it over to your wallet once you hit that minimum amount. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please use the link um, that I provided in the description. Help me out a little bit, and you guys will get some free Bitcoin as well. Um, happy mining to you guys. Let's make some coin. See you in the next video. And don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, share with your friends, anybody you think may find this useful.